as you're arriving, you can just start to check in with your physical body. Notice if there's any pain or any kinks, any movements that feel good to take before you come to a still position, if you're choosing to be still today while you listen. And awesome. And <clears throat> just checking in with your relationship between the shoulders and the hips. And awesome. And yeah, whether you're laying down or sitting down, just feeling that they are aligned with each other, either stacked on top of each other or aligned horizontally if you're laying down in bed. And you can also start to check in with that relationship between your pelvic floor and the back of your throat. And just starting to activate that center line of your body. And if you're in a space where you feel safe to do so at any point, you can allow the eyes to gently close. And you can mark your arrival today to this practice with a full, intentional, and deep cleansing breath. You're taking a long and slow inhale in through the nose and pausing for just a moment when you are full and just experiencing fullness. And as you need to, slowly decompressing and letting all of that go and pushing a little bit more air out of you even once you think you're empty to just truly empty yourself and then pause in that emptiness. And letting your next inhale come as it needs to. And you can breathe just like that a few more times if that felt really good. Just exaggerating the four parts of your breath. The inhale, the pause at the top of the inhale, and the exhale and the pause at the bottom of the exhale. And at any point, you can release all guidance over the breath and allow your body to breathe itself. As you feel yourself stepping back and up into that role of the observer, the witness, and simply observing the body breathing rather than guiding or controlling the breath in any way. And Know that some days this feels impossible to do, so that is perfectly okay if that's where you're at today. And other times that is very straightforward. So just letting yourself be in the space that you're in right now. And now bringing your awareness to your face. And just by letting your awareness lightly touch and just rest across the length and width of your face, you can just check in with any areas that might be holding tension. Checking in with the forehead and the eyebrows. And just letting these areas gently expand and deepen just by releasing the tension in these muscles. And allowing your jaw to hang heavy Letting the lips be soft and closed. And letting that same softness from the mouth release the chin, release the nose and the cheeks, and even the ears and the hairline. Just feeling the entire head now be soft, the scalp included. And notice the position of your head. Maybe if you're sitting up, the head's starting to kind of fall forward or back. And just imagine that there is a string that is gently lifting you up and supporting you from the very crown of your head. And if you're laying down, you can even imagine that the crown of your head is gently reaching away from the soles of your feet. And just feeling that support and that length 
and letting the rest of your body soften beneath that support. And feeling the back of your neck elongate and just starting to clear that channel of energy that connects your heart to your brain. Letting your shoulders relax down and away from the ears. Feeling a sense of expansion across the collarbones so that your heart is resting in line with the shoulders. And there's about equal protection from the front of the heart and the back of the heart. And letting the arms be heavy and totally relaxed in the hands and the fingers. And letting the rib cage just hug the lungs. Letting the muscles in your stomach hug the organs. Your hips surrendering into the position that they're in and your pelvic floor and glutes fully soften into your seat. Letting both legs and both feet and even all the toes just surrender to where they're at right now. Letting the muscles know that it is safe to release. And starting to gradually call your awareness back to your heart. And just starting to tune in with that unique rhythm that your own heart has. Maybe even hearing that rhythm of your heartbeat or maybe placing one or both hands there to just encourage that feeling. And just remembering that the gift that is your heart. Remembering that you don't do anything to tell your heart to beat. There's no doing that's required of you for your body to be alive for your heart to be pumping blood. Just remembering that this is a pure gift of your life. And this heart has been beating for you, working for you since you were in the womb and will continue to do so until your last breath. And just noticing all of the love and patience and support, compassion that is needed for this heart to exist inside of you. Letting all the core feelings from your heart just continue to grow just by noticing that they're there. And oftentimes we forget the power that our heart has. But whenever we act from a place of pure love, whenever we are in love and allow ourselves to be loved and feel love, this is all comes from our heart. So just by being aware of that, we can grow that and connect to it. And allow that love to be fed into other parts of our body and other parts of our life and world that need it the most. So as you 
Maybe just start to see a depiction of your heart in your mind's eye. Maybe this looks like your physical heart. Maybe it's more of just random shapes or lights or something that you can't really describe. Or maybe you're just seeing black and that's okay too. But just starting to visualize what your heart looks like in your chest. And then just remembering the anatomy of your body and tracing the connection of your heart to your hands going across the chest and down the upper arms and the lower arms and into the hands. This real and physical connection by the veins and blood vessels as well as that energetic connection where you can feel the pulse, the pulse that is in your heart can also be felt in your hands. So just by noticing that connection, again, we can grow it. We can allow it to naturally expand. So letting all of that love and compassion and patience that exists in your heart exist in the hands as well as you remember that your hands have the incredible power to create things and to heal, to love, to play, to cook. And just remembering everything that your hands does for you every single moment of your life, again, that we often take for granted. And just giving your hands some of that same love, letting your hands be loved and showing your appreciation for something that we often forget to appreciate. The fact that your hands can work is beautiful and a miracle. Now feeling that connection between your heart and your head. And remembering how your heart is pumping blood into your brain, into your mind, into your eyes, nose, ears, mouth. And just clearing that channel of energy and just feeling the back of the neck lengthen and straighten as you trace that space between your heart and your brain. As you remember that your heart is innately connected to your brain and the same powers of love, compassion, gratitude, patience that exists in your heart can be fed into your mind as well. And we have the option to let our heart think for us, let our heart hear and see for us, speak for us. As long as we remember that connection. And sometimes we all will go through times where we get stuck in our heads and we get stuck in the upper higher parts of our body and this can show up in the form of overthinking and just yeah thinking too much and thinking that if we just think about it a little harder then the answer will come to us but oftentimes when we feel that way all that is being asked of us is to just pause and to feel and check back in with our body, with our heart, and feel what the messages are. Feel what we actually feel, and let that think for us. And allow the sensations of our body and those deep gut feelings that are far more intelligent than our mind could be, let those be fed into the mind. 
And then your mind can choose which ones to incorporate and which ones to act on. So letting that relationship just be natural and effortless. Just by stepping out of the way and remembering that your heart is always trying to help. Your heart is always there for that extra bit of guidance if you need it. Maybe feeling that heartbeat also exists in your forehead, also exist in the ears, in the throat. And just trusting your ability to act from a space of love. As you remember that just by loving yourself and being grateful for your own life, your own experiences, having compassion for yourself and the hard times you've been through, this is exactly what allows us to be that way toward others. But it must start with ourselves. But just allowing yourself to feel that deep sense of love for yourself. And know that this is not a selfish act. This is what allows you to show up fully for the loved ones in your life. Because we can only meet others as deeply as we meet ourselves. Just knowing that we all go through stages and phases in our lives and wherever you happen to be, sometimes we are just like a full moon and we are completely illuminated by life and by the soul and by and we feel connected and loved and whole and other times we feel like a new moon and we are completely in the dark. We're still there but we are in the shadows and we feel disconnected and dark. And then there's all those phases the moon takes in between. And know that we can't ever escape this, so we just let ourselves be in whatever phase that you are in. And enjoy where you're at fully. Just let yourself be there fully and trust that every storm runs out of rain and the next phase is just around the corner. And all feelings are temporary. So feeling the bad feelings fully, feeling the good feelings fully, and just letting them be there when they're there. If it feels like something you would like to do, at any point you can allow the palms to find each other at heart center. And just feel that connection between your palms and your fingers and feel your thumbs pressing back toward your heart and letting your heart lift back toward your thumbs. And just once again, feeling that connection between your heart and your hands from both sides now. Feeling your hands pulsing into each other and just remembering all of that power that you have to love fully and deeply. And then as you take a deep breath in, you can let yourself fill up and expand even more than before. And as you exhale, just gently allowing the head to bow. As you bow to the source of energy you've come from, whatever that may mean to you, the one allowing your heart to beat. Bowing to that constant source of inspiration and guidance around you, maybe in the form of ancestors, angels, spirits, guides, whatever word you may have. 
I'm bowing to everyone else in the space who's completed this practice alongside you and all of their guides. But most importantly, bowing to yourself for choosing to show up today, for taking the time out of your busy life for this pure act of self-love and self-care. May this act continue to heal you through the rest of your days and nights. May you bring the same love and understanding into everything that you do and to everyone that you see. Namaste.